hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the second module of rpa and this module is very simple one so i'll be just discussing the key points what you have to write and nothing as such as uh, is there to explain i'll be telling what are the super important questions and how do you write an exam okay and at the end of this video i'll also be telling you how do you make a process and uh, record the task and all like the actual one in the ui path studio okay so let's get started before starting like the video and uh, hit uh, the subscribe button for more videos like this and uh, let's get started so the first question is like wherever i have put starts so Super important one so the links of this document can found in the description box the first question they can ask is the super important one which is with a neat diagram explain the components of rpa okay if they ask you about the components of rpa first you have to make this diagram okay in this diagram how many components are there let's see that these are the uh, total number of components how many are there five components okay five components are there this you have to make after you have uh, written this one recorder development studio plugin uh, extension bot runner and control center and these all are aligned here okay see as you can see here those all whatever the components of rp are there if they ask the diagram we have tried this for compulsory okay recorder plugin extension workflow designer and this all comprises of development studio and there are bot runner is here enterprise app and control center is here it acts as an intermediary between these two there is no way to remember this uh, except by practicing okay so this all the first important question what is the components of rpa you can memorize this one okay then uh slight um meanings of these are given means what are they what are they for like the recorder what it does it records the mouse and keyboard it that's all. It records most of the keyboard events. Development Studio is a framework where you can uh, do the instructions and how to, um, I mean, code the logic and all those things can be done in the Development Studio. Like how we have Android Studio, right? Extension plugin. If you want to add extra features, you can use extensions. Bot runner is also uh, referred to as a robot. So it is just a robot which runs the applications one by one. Control Center uh, handles the both the things, manages the uh, robot management capabilities. Okay, so very simple. You just have to write five words, means five uh, sentences for each of the these words and you have to make this diagram let's move to the next important question which is to explain the various rpa platforms so how many rpa platform are there i guess six are there okay so, so six uh, rpa platform is nothing but the names of the um, different uh, companies which are uh, using rpa okay the first one is automation anywhere all of these have the same features just slight word differences are there what does the rpa features do you have to remember this one line it helps to automate business process uh, for the companies business is going on processes are going on to automate it we use what rpa platforms and one of the is automation anywhere then you can write something uh, about rpa like they focus on rpa and data and they uh, means uh, analyze the trends and they automate the stuff and all and they reduce the time increase the efficiency and what they do they comprise of they have a development studio they have a control center they have a, a client manager and they have a robot which handles the environment and also all those things can be uh, written here okay so don't mention uh, don't worry about these things this you can write anything but this is the first thing what you have to write it helps to automate the business process for companies and and if you can remember this one, it's good. You can remember where it's founded and the headquarters are present where. UI Pathos just helps automate the business process and it has these uh, following things, Studio or uh, UI uh, Path Robot, UI Path Orchestrator. This is the most important one for us because the UI Path is the one which we'll be uh, using in this module. Okay. And third one is Blue Prism. It helps automate the business enterprises according to the needs. Blue Prism is for according to the needs. That's the main important point. Next, we have Work Fusion. It offers automation that is based on RPA and machine learning. It uses what? Machine learning. If they ask you what is uh, work fusion, did you have tried? It uses machine learning. Okay. So it also acts on very high data. These are some of the key points of uh, Blue Prism. And next is a Thoughtonomy. Thoughtonomy delivers the business process and automation IT process simple as the previous one. Cofax is also the same one. It helps automate the delivering process that are uh, repetitive and rule based. This is a key point here. It's repetitive and rule based. Okay. So those are the RP uh, UI path, uh, I mean, RPA platforms. Next, uh, let's. Uh, uh, see the next question list and explain ui path component next we have been asked specifically with regarding to ui path so you have to mention a difference here this uh, especially with respect to ui path the previous one was just rpm right so there's a subtle difference between uh, those both this is the generalized one and if they ask about ui path we are uh, talking about something specific so we are supposed to write only this one okay so let's see what are the components in ui path in the components in ui path are as follows ui path studio this is the first one and the second one is ui path robot third one is ui path orchestrator so let's see what is this. A studio is nothing but an interface where you can perform many things. What about UiPath robot? UiPath path robot is the main thing which is running and performing all the tasks. It also acts as attended as well as unattended environments. The third one is the UiPath orchestrator. It is a web-based uh, platform that runs and manages the robots. Okay, it is a web-based platform that uh, runs and manages the robots. Okay, just a manager. Just uh, imagine in your mind, orchestrator means manager. Moving on to the next important question, which is explain the UiPath stack. Here also they can ask you either 
other components or the stack but the answer remains the same they can ask what components or the stack but the answer what it remains same what is the answer UiPath path studio UiPath path robot and UiPath path orchestrator what are the two various uh, UiPath path platform this is very important one what are the two variations two variations of UiPath path platform are enterprise edition and community edition you can write the differences by own enterprise means you will be paid you will be using for a, a business purpose and there will be many more features more enhancements and community is just for learning it is free and it is used for all over uh, worldwide okay just for the learning purpose not for business purpose and again the same thing is here like a bit more detailed UiPath path studio you can read this if you want i'm not going to explain that one let's move on to the next question which is uh, write the steps that is used to download and install your ipad so just a slight idea regarding how uh, i don't think so this question will be asked in exam but still i uh, to just have an idea of how uh, the things are you you need to go through this question okay download and install your ipad how do you download and install your ipad and what are the features supported by community edition features now only itself i told uh, what are those features it we used for the um, learning purpose it is uh, not paid it is free and it is accessible by everyone and uh, you need not get any license and it is uh, efficient for getting a touch of what the things are and knowing what the um, what means which rpa you need for uh, education purpose and all it's uh, very much needed okay and it's very fast and enhanced so that's what the features of rpa in the community edition and how to install go to the link uipath.com slash community it's there you'll see get community edition just click on that and fill in your information like the first name last name email and uh, twitter account that's optional and request community edition then in your email it there will be a link which is um coming so you have to click on that link then uipath studio setup.exe will start then you click on start free and if you have the license activate else you can use it for free and then a message will be displayed on the screen if the video i mean installation is successful then close the window okay your uipath is now ready for use yeah how the uh, installation part works okay Moving on to the next question, explain the types of projects, very important. Types of project, there are uh, four types. Okay, first is the sequence. Sequence by the name, what you can understand. Sequence means one after the other. If you have a sequence of steps to be followed, then you will be using sequence. Okay, flowchart means what? You will be having complex things. Like flowchart is not just one uh, line uh, of like this, right? It will be having many things. It will be having one another here. It will be getting a type based on a condition, those things. Okay, for that, we'll be using uh, flowchart for complex projects. Third, uh, third is the assistant. This helps for developing attended or unattended front office robots okay so this just a side um, help State machine is used uh, for very large project that use a finite number of states. If you use automata think uh, for doing your project, then you can use state machine uh, type of project. Okay. <coughs> Moving on to the next question, which is explain the four different panels available in UiPath. Actually, there are not four, but there are many, but any four you can write. Okay. So this I'll be explaining what is the uh, different panels and all here. You can't understand anything because it's just the text part. And I'll be telling you the practical stuff that you can uh, remember uh, very well. Okay. For now, just go through it. Designer panel, they will do the designing stuff properties panel will be changing the properties activities panel will be doing the activities viewing it project panel will be handling the project outline will show you the outline output will show you the output and so on whatever it is that it will do okay library panel will show the library variable panel will handle the variables how many you can remember you can remember okay let's move on to the next one which is explain the tasks of uh, explain the different types of task recorder this is super important question different types of task recorder how many ways you can uh, record a task basically there are four types basic desktop web and critics basic is just for uh, handling the basic task like opening a app writing something and closing it like for example notepad that is basic desktop means you are doing complex things to handling two apps at a time okay web means whatever web task you are doing opening youtube for seeing some video and closing it to record that tasks critics is used for virtual environments okay so some more information is here uh, given here one or two and you can go through it next is uh, explain the two types of recording how many recording are there two are there the recordable uh, means automatic and manual before that you can also or you, are, you can also be asked about what actions are recordable not all the actions are recordable only few are there which are those left click on buttons whenever you see an image if you click it that will be recorded check boxes there is checkbox you want coffee or tea if you uh, select coffee that will be recorded drop down list you have a menu here uh, explaining which country you are from okay you can choose any of that that will be recorded and other geo elements text typing is also recordable if you type something that will be recorded what is non-recordable keyboard shortcuts if you use keyboard shortcuts alt f4 and all that will not be recorded mouse hover where the mouse um, cursor is moving that will not be recorded right click will not be recorded in the mouse modifier key such as control alt and all cannot be recorded these are the two types 
recordable actions and non recordable actions next we have different types of recording if you use automatic recording it can uh, at once uh, record multiple actions if you use manual recording it will be one action recorded then you will click and record another you will click and record another okay this is just like screen recording and this like screenshots okay next important question explain the usage of f2 right click and escape keys this is very important f2 is used for recording the three seconds okay this step is recording for three seconds you'll use f2 key right clicks exit the recording and escape um, escape also uh, exit the recording itself okay moving on we have the next question explain the differences between variables and arguments this is important question variables means what you can store something if you have a integer value and you will be assigning some name you can store that value here argument means what if you are passing this in some function at that time you will be um, using this variable as an argument that's all what the difference is variables it can store different data types and the values of the variable can be changed and arguments means it's used for passing data from one project to another or one activity to another in the same project okay and there are four types of direction in means coming in out means out in out means both and property means you can change some property moving on we have the next question which is explain the advanced ui interactions in detail advanced ui interaction will have two things input methods and output methods how do you interact with ui you'll send the output and get uh, send the input and get the output but there are advanced versions as well so in input you have three types default simulate and window message okay so what are those uh, three parts means you will be using it for transferring the messages and the fastest is among them is the simulate one and the slowest one is the default but it's the most widely used coming to the output methods we have three types native full text and OCR optical character recognition native means you can use for local system full text means all the text will be visible you can get the output in the text form itself okay next we have the explaining detail the steps involved in automation of the task of emptying trash in gmail see <clears throat> to empty that ta uh, trash in gmail what you'll do first think in your mind see you'll open your laptop okay then what you will do you will uh, launch the browser when you get the browser you'll type gmail there then when you type gmail you'll uh, click the link and sign into that when you sign in your account will be visible you'll go to that trash and then click empty same thing goes here start open browser go to gmail sign in go to a trash folder click on empty trash end and next involves the emptying recycle bin this is what i will be showing you the practical version uh, in a few moments start go to desktop open recycle bin click on manage click on empty recycle bin and click on confirm close the window end okay so now let's see the uh, practical version of the stuffs <laughs> 